In this episode of Growing Your Sense of Self Through Self-Defense, we're going to look at another chokehold, one that we haven't seen. We've seen a lot of different techniques, but one that's not uncommon, at least it wasn't uncommon when I was in high school, where a guy might come up behind you and get you like in a headlock, right? Professional wrestling kind of move. Um, we are here again at Flying Tire Martial Arts in Garner, North Carolina. And my partners, I got a two for, for partners today. I got Mr. Mike and Miss McKenzie. All right. Now, Mr. Mike and Mr. McKenzie is a father daughter pairing that is uh, training in hop keto. So it's very cool that uh, they get the chance to experience this as, as a parent child. It's, it's a neat thing to do. I've done it with my son and, and to a lesser extent with my daughter, but uh, it's a fun thing. Is it a fun thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Enjoy that? Yeah, okay. All right, so this is a, like you come up around, you know, likelihood the case is normally is a guy might jump you from behind or you get in an argument and he swings his arm around your neck and pulls you in like this here, right? And he's gonna get two hands on. Now, the, if my head's up like this here, this is a pretty serious choke that he can do. If I got my chin down before he got that arm, it, he's controlling me but he's not hurting me. Now, trying to break his grip that he has is not an easy thing to do. Okay, release. So what I'm gonna do instead of trying to break my way out of that, I'm gonna give him uh, an offer that's gonna <laughs> make him decide, well, I'm just gonna leave the guy go, All right? And the way I'm gonna do that is, what, once he puts that on me, I'm gonna go down lower. He, he's already pulling me down, right? He's got me two hands on there. He's got me down a little bit low. What I'm gonna do is, I have two arms that are free. This arm is going to go up and grab his shoulder. This hand is going to come up underneath his leg. I don't have to carry him. I'm just going to take the weight off of his leg. So I'm going to sort of lift it like this. I can drop to this knee back here, depending on what he's holding. If he's squatting down, when he's holding me like this here, I can get down all the way down to a knee. If he's standing, it works the same way. It works just as well. I want that leg out of the way because he is going to go back. When I pull on this, okay, release. I'm going to pull on this and lift on this. And he's got this sort of torque. So it's not unlike what we were seeing before, a little bit of yin and yang action, and he goes down on his back. Then much the same way we saw in an earlier joke, in an earlier bear hug move. So he's got that on, go ahead, you can put it on tight, and he's gonna put it on tight. He's got, go ahead, put it on tight, get it tight. Ah. Ah. Right, and we saw what we can do from a leg before, or I could drop a knee on a groin. So. Miss McKenzie's going to show you can throw a guy much bigger than you. Same technique. He's going to grab her by the, around the neck. Go ahead, I'll step out. Grabbing her by the neck, she's going to get a, a hand underneath, one on the shoulder, use her strength, yes, boom, and drop a knee. Boof, right, to finish him off. So, it's about technique when you're, when you're let me jump back in a sec. When, you, when you're lifting up and pulling, you use your body some too, and she already was starting that way to get her body into it. So if the guy's hanging you here, you're turning this away, right? So one more time, you can do it live action and really drop it in good. All right, I'll sit. <laughs> get it good. Drop it in. Oof. Yeah. She's being too nice to her dad. <laughs> All right. So that's a, another choke. Counter and uh, uh, it's not really an escape, he's letting you go. It wasn't an escape, it was allowing you to go because he's protecting himself as he starts to fall. That's a typical thing people would do. So, thank you guys. Good job. Good job. Till next time. Come, come, some, some, and toodles. Yes. All right, good job. Good job.